Hello, Chiara. It's a pleasure to see you. Hi, Francesco. How are you today? I'm fantastic. Thank you very much. And thank you for having me here at your beautiful gallery. You know, it's always a pleasure to spend time with you. And let me say, you look more beautiful every single day. You are too kind, darling. But come with me. I need to show you something I think you love. Can't wait. Here is my new baby, a 17th century oil on canvas painting of San Sebastian. Do you like it? Are you kidding me? I love this. The texture, the colors, it's breathtaking, really. How did you come by this amazing piece? Well, you know, I always buy what I love. And I have to say, I literally fell in love with him. This full length figure was probably portrayed with a life model due to its pose. This is a Spanish school Baroque period oil on canvas portrait painting of San Sebastian inserted in a luxuriant natural landscape and housed in a walnut a gilbull frame, all with its original patina, of course. Wow, it's awesome. And you know that the LGBTQ plus community is a huge fan of Saint Sebastian. Actually, our love for this hero is so strong that we have turned him into a gay icon. Seriously? Why don't you tell me more about it? Well, you know, Sebastian was a Roman soldier and he was executed by Emperor Diocletian for being a Christian. First, he was tied to a tree and then the Emperor's archers shot him with arrows, but he didn't die. He survived and then, well, unfortunately, he was killed later. But his story inspired so many artists in the Renaissance that he was eventually turned into a symbol of beauty and strength. In sacred art, he is even regarded as the one who protects us from plagues and epidemics. That's so interesting. Plus, he really is beautiful. And I have to say, he's got a body to die for. For sure. You know that artists like to show a lot of skin and instead of depicting him as a suffering man, they prefer to show him as a young and healthy one who doesn't suffer but actually kind of enjoys his punishment, you know? You can see that he's looking up towards heaven, of course, and he's even blushing a little. You're right. He looks positively healthy and a little coy. He's very seductive. Truly seductive. Later on in the 16th and the 17th centuries, artists like to show Sebastian as a man who accepts his pain. Actually, he bravely takes this pain because he knows that he will be reborn from it. So it is a symbol of rebirth. And in a way, it's like us, you know, we have to accept our sorrows and move on. And this is why it has become such a powerful queer symbol. And, of course, you know that the arrows penetrating his body, you know what the symbolism is. I do. But are you telling me San Sebastian was gay? Well, we don't know for sure, even though some historians believe that he might have been the Emperor's own lover. However, his naked body has certainly inspired many gay artists throughout the centuries. And here in Florence we have some beautiful Sebastian paintings uh, done by great Renaissance masters. There is one uh, at the Uffizi Gallery painted by Sodoma and he doesn't really cover Sebastian's body with a lot of arrows because he wanted it to be seen better. And there's even this funny story that uh, the painting had to be removed from one of the churches because the priests were afraid that young women would find it a little too explicit. I'm shocked. I can think of another religious figure that has this so much appeal. Well, thank you, Chiara. I'm really grateful that you found time to show me this amazing artwork. You are welcome, Francesco. Come anytime you want. Thank you very much. See ya. See you. Ciao. Ciao.